Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen. Okay, open here. Yeah, in the previous video, we have seen how to pass the token to the API URLs, to the authenticated API URLs we have seen, right? And we have seen one problem there. So, not a problem actually. So, what we can say is if you go to the post service. Yeah, so if you go to the post service and also the post actions, right? all the time what we are trying to do so when we are trying to do the redux thunk dispatching thing we are getting the state and we are getting the token and we are passing the token to that particular uh, service and this token it is all the time it is appending the appending for every url so this is the thing what we are trying to do is we are always trying to duplicate the code duplicate the code which seems means so we are always trying to add the same scenario for every url so for this type of scenarios we have already discussed in the previous video we can achieve this through the interceptors we have thing we have thought so now let's try to implement this interceptor so that automatically whenever you are trying to call a particular axios urls or anything so just automatically append take the data what we can say take the token from the store and append it through the auth auth so every time when uh, when you are doing an ajax call so you can do you can append that so like this we will be telling that one in the interceptors so let's try to implement these interceptors here now what I will be trying to do is, so in the services, I will create a new instance, Axios instance. So why I am creating another instance, Axios instance is, instance is, I don't want this auth to be appended to every URL. So I want this auth to be appended to only the particular URLs which I need it. So we, if we add directly to the global Axios directly, what will happen is to every URL, to every URL it will be appended. It will be appended, the auth will be. So, for example, some URLs, public URLs will be there. Something like login, sign up. This all has to work automatically without auth. Why? Because so we don't need an auth for that login and sign up thing. So, for those type of URLs, there is no need to append the auth token. So, that is the reason what I am trying to do is I am creating a separate Axios instance here. So, whatever the URLs you want to call, you want to make, you want to append the auth token means you can call this instance. Or otherwise, normal Axios, you can use it. So either way, so whichever you want, you can do it. So I, we will approach this uh, advanced approach like this. So now what I will try to do is, so here constant axios instance is equal to axios dot create. You will be having a method create. Okay, so let's import this axios first. So I am importing this axios and create. And here if you try to see, the post service you are always the base url is the same same thing so we can automatically give this base url in the axios instance itself so here i can add base url is equal to so this is the axios instance so base url now in the post service i can directly remove this one there is no need for me to add this base url why because so we are we will be using this axios instance i will show you how the axios instance will be taken from here so now I can automatically remove this one. Why? Because I am adding that one. So please append for every URL before like this. Now this one is completed. Now what I will try to do is. So we will export default Axios instance. So I will export this one. So that it can be it can be used. Now here what I will try to do is. I will try to create an Axios instance. Instance dot interceptors dot. So for the request I need to use. Dot use. And here you will be having the config. And here you can console the config so that we can see what is the config details. So for making every time the request, this interceptors will be executed. And I need I need to return this config. So you need to modify the config here. You need to append the uh, query parameters, that auth query parameters here, and we need to return that updated config thing. So right now we are not updating, just we are returning here. Now let's try to see this one. So in order to use this Axios instance, so what we need to do is so here we uh, in the post service. Here we should not import the Axios. We should import the Axios instance. Okay, Axios instance. And here you can directly use Axios instance. You can use the Axios also directly. So for our uh, namesake, so in order to understand, so there also you need to name name it as an Axios instead of Axios instance. You need to name this instance as Axios so that you can directly import Axios from like this. But in order to have a differentiation, I am doing this Axis instance so that while I'm checking this code, we can check that okay, this is the Axis instance which we have created our own. 
So by customizing the tags yours and we are appending the same base URL auth token everything we are appending we will be able to recognize. Now I have added this Axios instance okay fine. Now let's try to see the output. So let's try to remove this auth also. So we don't need this auth thing. We will be adding this auth thing directly through the interceptors. So interceptors res responsibility is to add the token. Now I can remove this all the token. Yeah so now this is the plain thing. So now is it is the plain. It's looking clean and uh, it's looking clean and great. Now what I will try to do here it is showing an error. Axios why it is showing error so let's try to refresh it yeah now if you try to see in the console if I go to home page and if I come to post see here you will be able to see some URL so this is all coming from the Axios instance if you try to see in the right side the file name this is the Axios instance.js this is total config data so what is the config data we have so we have console right so this is the config data we are able to get now we need to try to append the query parameter for every url how we can append is so let's take this config dot params is equal to copy the config dot params if it is available or otherwise take it as an empty object okay so now what i will write is config dot params of auth okay this is the key is equal to i will write something like uh, leela token leela web dev or something like this we will write Leela web dev. Our channel is the Leela web dev, right? So we will use this Leela web dev. And I have added the config params and I am returning the config. Now let's try to see whether this auth is equal Leela web dev has been appended or not. Now I will try to refresh this page. Okay, if you go to the network, if you try to see here if you are able to see, I am able to see here. So are you able to see or not? So post.json auth is equal to Leela web dev. So now we are able to successfully append the authentication through the interceptors now what we need to do here we need to take the uh, we need to get the token from the store and we need to append it here so in order to get the sto token from the store what we need to do so we need to import the store here so import store from so from where i need to import the store so store slash store right so now here what i need to do is so here constant state is equal to store dot get state okay i have used this get state and here i will try to do the console dot log state so let's try to console dot log state now if i try to see the output if i try to refresh this page now what will happen here let's try to see the output we are getting some huge error and we are not able to display any error yeah we got something like cannot access create underscore post underscore action before initialization post reducer it is throwing an error in the post reducer let's try to see this post reducer post reducer if you try to see here actually what is happening here is so we are importing the post actions here and in return if you go to the post actions Again in this post actions we are having a delete post and this delete post is coming from the post service and this post service is again what it is telling taking it is taking the Axios instance. So Axios is importing means again it will call this Axios instance. So it is coming in the cyclic dependency. So the Axios instance is, in, is asking about the store thing and store in return taking the actions thing post actions. In this post actions it is uh, fetching the again the service file. So again this so this is coming in the looping thing so what we can do for this type of behavior is so let's try to take this all the exports thing let's cop let's remove this one and here i can create a new file so that post types so all the constants i am pasting in separate file okay these are all the constants normally we will be doing like this only so we will be declaring all the constants in a separate file now what I will what we will try to do is so here I can take instead of taking from the post actions what I can do is take it from the post types right. So now this one is done and in the post actions also so we need to take these all things from the post types fine right. So now let's try to add uh, let's try to add these all the things at a time okay so that it will be imported now here also i think it could be imported yeah so i think most probably now the problem should not come and now again another problem is coming that store.js get underscore post the post actions we are not able to find in the store. 
let's move to the store.js so i think we have written long back the store right we can remove these axios unnecessary use of axios we can remove this one and here if you try to see this one also we can remove and here what it is trying to do get post it is trying to get the constant get post from the post actions actually we moved those all post actions to the post types file so all the constants has moved to a separate file and here we are using the fetch data middleware this is the middleware concepts while learning the middleware we have created we can comment it out as it is not useful for us right now now everything is fine now let's try to see the output and if I try to see the output, see now we are able to get the output and also here the state data also we are able to get everything state data, right? So right now it is in the login, so we are not able to get any ID token. Now what I will try to do is here in the Ax in the Axios instant, I can take the token state, sorry, state dot auth dot auth dot ID token. I can take this token directly and in this token what I can do is, so here, we can append this token directly fine right now everything is perfect everything is fine now we will try to do the thing now if i go home and if i try to here auth is coming empty why because we are not logged in and here if i try to log in lila webdev at the rate gmail.com 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 okay so now if i click on the login we are able to successfully log in actually we, it's better if we move it to the push it to the post page right so now if i click on the post see the auth token has automatically been appended here if you try to see the auth token is successfully appended so we are adding this auth token through the interceptors you need to understand so here also i am clicking on the view details we are able to get edit details and here i am changing that hi leela web dev so here also we can do something like this hi leela web dev or some we can update it so i am editing the post so it is successfully updated and here also the token is appending so through the interceptors and creating a new post so new post and also here also i can write new post and here we can create a post so successfully we have created new post and also the token is at appended in the post request also i am trying to delete the post and here the post uh, post also successfully deleted and we are also appending the post request without any fail so this all the token is appended is getting appended only through the axios instance and that is uh, we got it through the existing instance see now the cleaner code so we have made the cleaner code and we do, we do, we should not so there is no need for us to worry about this what i can say about the token thing so token thing everything is will be taken care by the interceptor access instance and now in the post actions also you can clean it up right so we can remove this all code and we can there is no need for us to send the token and here also there is no need just for showing for showing you I, I have shown you but if, by, if we go through the advanced process means so we can do the interceptors concept and all those things so now i can remove this here also and i can remove the token also so for us no need to worry about the what we can say about the token concept so we need to send the token to the axios call everything it will be taken care by them so, but we need to make sure that token is available at the time when we are accessing the page so now right now we are uh, so we are not protecting the roads in the in the future videos we will try to protect the roads also and here we will go to the post service and here we can remove this token so there is no need for us to send this token everything so we are cleaning up entire this file so previously we are using this token concept and now we have cleaned entirely and we, we will be you now if i refresh it will go away in the next video we will do like this one only so persisting the uh, what we can say user details so that when we refresh also if the user should be stayed it should be stayed logged in only we will try to do it in the next videos so now right now this one is completed i think hopefully if i go to the post i am able to get so everything is fine it's working fine so this is how we will be doing the uh, we will be appending the auth token to the api urls using the axios interceptors so hope you understood about this uh, uh, authentication of this uh, what we can say appending the auth token to the api url if you have any doubts or any suggestions Please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.